what's good everybody welcome back to jj land first i want to start out by letting you know if you have not already hit that subscribe button definitely go ahead and subscribe for more uploaded videos in regards to my tubal reversal also go ahead and like definitely go ahead and comment down below and stay tuned for the video Gaga music to my channel everyone so let me go ahead and get this adjusted let's get this camera. so today i wanted to make a, another update um in regards to my tubal reversal some things that i have been noticing um i want to say that i am going on cycle well this is if i have another period hopefully i don't cross fingers um uh, but um i will be coming up on my third cycle in regards to after uh, my tubal reversal and I just wanted to share a few things that I've noticed in regards to my menstrual cycles and some of the things that I've been feeling with my body so um, it has been let me calculate really quick it has been okay so it's saying it's basically 59 days since I've had my tubal reversal and um, if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go ahead and check that out. I basically had like a small little tiny vlog um, of me going into surgery. And some of the things that I um, posted was like uh, my two days after post-reversal, uh, like three days, week, one week, two week. I even posted like uh, pictures of my tubes and the outcomes of those. So if you want to check that out, definitely just go ahead. I have a playlist with tube reversal. Go ahead over there, click on that, and check that out. But um, I just wanted to go back and talk talk about what's been happening with my body so my last menstrual cycle that I realized was uh, similar to the one that I had previously before that one so basically I'm gonna start with my first cycle and then I go to the second one which was the last one I did notice that in my first cycle that it was very light and when I mean light the flow was light yeah but I mean like it was um it was shorter so instead of it last usually lasting like six to seven days this was more like four days and I've had, I've had shorter uh, cycles before but I noticed this was uh, short um, after you know like psh, almost a year of me not having any short cycles so I did notice that and so I just kind of like ignored it because I was like okay I just had basically surgery almost two to three weeks ago before I had the cycle so I was like maybe it has something to do with that and it wasn't really painful at all I had small pain I didn't even realize when it was coming um, I mean, just a tad bit, but not really. Second cycle, which was the last one that I just basically had about a week ago. So, I know TMI, right? Nobody wants to know when you have them. But, yeah, uh, the last one I did have was uh, pretty weird. I was late for one. Let me go back. Usually, I am, uh, I don't want to say irregular because uh, it comes, it comes. But it doesn't come every 28. It's more like every 32 days, maybe 33. So, um yeah this one was a few days late so it kind of like threw me off guard and um i believe it probably could have been a chemical pregnancy i'm not sure or it could just be my body like you know recognizing that everything's been reversed now because um one of the symptoms that i had like um before my period basically um had came like literally like a week or almost two weeks before that was tingly breasts and sore breasts right now i know everyone says okay wow yeah your period's gonna come up that's a symptom not for me i have never ever in my well i don't want to say 28 because that's not how long i've had my cycles but i've had my cycle since almost 18 years now and i have never had a pmf sign that included sore or tingly breasts i've only had sore breasts or tingly breasts when i was breastfeeding my kids basically after they were born and it was time to feed them so when i had that symptom i automatically thought i was pregnant for one because i was bloated this was like maybe six days post ovulation and further out and so like seven eight nine ten eleven twelve whatever so i have been going through that for like basically a week and a half you know so in my mind i said like, okay yeah this is it i might be pregnant you know because like i've never had that symptom ever before before my cycle never so like it was very weird to me and i see my breasts were growing they're still growing i'm like what is going on you know so it was very strange for me so 
um that happened i was bloated a lot i mean yeah, bloating is very common so i didn't really look at the bloating as a symptom of pregnancy but i did keep it in consideration because i have all of those symptoms i had were all bunched together and this was like way 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 before my period was due and i know a lot of people also say that they get symptoms a week before i do not get any symptoms one week before i may get it once to do one to two days before my period is going to come on and basically the symptoms that i get is just mouth cramping and maybe a little bit of bloating but uh for the most part i only get cramps like a couple days before i never get it as early as a week ever so um that was weird and um i did learn some things about doing the opk where i basically test to see if i was positive for the hormone that the takes when i'm ovulating so um i found out um how to work that and how to do that and of course i caught it right on time and um so in my mind i was thinking that i was doing everything it takes to get pregnant but i know that it doesn't always happen on your first try so um i'm not gonna lie i was a little discouraged at first but then i realized that um you know sometimes you have to give it a few more tries and because my body went through heavy surgery that maybe my body is recognizing what's going on but it's basically reversing everything that was done you know and when I tell you I'm so glad that I did do this procedure, I've had people tell me the negative things that has happened to them after that, like they haven't been able to have a baby. I'm going to get into that too. I don't know if I'm going to add in what I've been doing, my regimen in this video, but I may uh, discuss it in another video on what I've been doing and what I've been, uh, the steps I've been taking to make things different for my health and to see if it'll help with my fertility you know after tuber reversal because sometimes tuber reversal is the big step but there may be more changes that you need to do in your life you know so back to what i was saying um so i never had any of the symptoms like that before uh my cycle just like two days before and i'm cramping and that's about it and it's mild cramping so that's very very weird for me and um so we really thought that we were gonna you know have a baby this time but like I said, I know it takes more than just one time. Sometimes, sometimes people are lucky, but sometimes it takes more than one, maybe two, maybe three. So um, I'm gonna keep trying what I've been doing, but I just wanted to get on here and, um, you know, tell you guys what I've been going through after tuber reversal. That's very different for me. And to see if anybody else has been going through that too, because, um, you know, maybe we can share on how we were able to get through some of these things and some of these, uh, false pregnancies and some of these uh, you know just very emotional and draining situations since we're trying to conceive again so um yeah i wanted to let you guys know that and it's been very different for me so i think that really my body is just like saying hey we know that you know we're back in business again and you know we're gonna put a baby in soon you know <laughs> i don't know but that was very odd for me to go through those things um you know when I went through that and just at all because like I said I've never had that happen um, if you have ever had that happen before after a tuber reversal or just anything weird like that has never happened to you in regards to like mid cycle before your cycle or whatever definitely comment down below and let me know how everything worked out for you did you end up pregnant um, was it because of surgery was it not because of non-surgery or was it because you know you did some things differently but um, what I want to get to is the next thing that I've been doing is um, I've been hearing a lot of hype about this maca, and so um, me and my husband have been doing it, and we've been, uh, you know, making smoothies out of them. So, for example, in either in the morning or either in the evening, it's whichever uh, is best for us, and whenever we feel like doing it, we'll make a smoothie with maca and it. Put like a teaspoon of uh, the maca powder in a smoothie and blend it up with, you know, whatever you're making, or you can mix it into, like they say, your juices, your teas hot chocolates i recommend you do it in a smoothie because i'm not gonna lie to you maca is not the best tasting thing ever and it can ruin some of your things i say just blend it in with a smoothie or something um we tried it with orange juice and it tastes like throw up like it was so nasty so i do recommend if you're gonna do it try to do a smoothie but you can try for yourself and what i want to do is leave a link down below near the description box um letting you see or showing you the type of maca that i've used i purchased it from off of amazon it was basically all almost five star reviews i've seen a lot of people say that basically it boosts their fertility it gave them energy it supports the endocrine system and it basically helps with overall health for men and women so i wanted to try that out it says that it helps regulate irregular 
irregular periods in women who has PCOS or PCOS, whatever you want to call it, they say that they uh, that maca definitely helps regulate and get your body back flowing like it's supposed to. You know, so I wanted to try that out. Um, I want to give it my all. Like I know that my health has not been the best, and after surgery, it was kind of hard with me trying to. It was. It was kind of hard with me trying to get back on track because being in bed and being in pain and not being able to work out for a while set me back big time and um, I wasn't really eating right like I should. So um, that kind of messed me up. But now I'm back on track and um, I've been doing the maca. I've also tried this pomegranate. I can't even say the word, y'all. Pomegranate juice. They said that's really good for you too. Like kind of flush out, flushes out your system and stuff. So I've been drinking that. Um... I'm trying to see if there's anything else because I want you to guys, I want you guys to come on the journey with me. You know, if you've been having issues, you've never heard of these things, let's hop on this train together and see what we can do. You know, we may be able to fix a cure. Um, so that's what I've been doing. And like I said, we'll just do the smoothie, for example. This is what I've done. You don't have to, but I'll mix like um, three strawberries, uh, one kiwi, and like half a banana. I use almond milk because I'm lactose and then I'll do the teaspoon um, of maca and I'll just like blend it all together and then yeah voila I may um, I also did add like almond extract in one of uh, the smoothies one morning but uh, when I tried it without it I realized I didn't really need it so that was something good so um you can definitely try that if you like um, have you make your smoothies or whatever you, you want to put it in you can just try that out and um, I can't say another thing about the maca. It's definitely been giving me energy. Me and my husband, we've been having energy. I've been wanting to work out a whole lot more. I've been wanting to get up and do things a lot more around the house. And just really think maca is helping a lot. I've been taking it for almost over a week now. So I can definitely say I feel a difference. And I can, you know, definitely say, yeah, that's the maca. This is not just something random. This is the maca. Because before that, I have been really down. And especially, like, after the last cycle, when I found out that I wasn't, I was very upset because, like, like I said, it was already late. It was like three days late. And even my apps were blowing me up. You know, like, you're late, you're late, you're late. I'm like, okay, maybe this is it. But um, I've been late before, and it's just like, you never really know. And, um, I didn't even know it was coming. I had no symptoms of period, unless those were my symptoms, of course. New symptoms after 18 years. Come on now. But um, unless those were my symptoms, you know. But other than that, if it was just my body just trying to get back on track, what I'm going to say is that I didn't have any symptoms for a menstrual coming. So one night I was just getting up. Because that's another thing. I was peeing so much at night. I kept getting up at night, using the bathroom. And I do drink a lot of water, but I never had to go as much as I did last time. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's definitely a sign there. Um, so um, I'm trying not to get off track. I'm really trying not to get off track. So yeah, um, I had got up in the middle of the night because I had to pee again. And um, I just wiped and I noticed, I was like, okay, yep, it came on. But it was just weird how it came on. I didn't have any cramps or anything before that. So it was just very strange for me. So if you guys ever experienced anything like that, just definitely comment down below. I want to definitely know. I want to see your take on it. And um, let me know if there's anything that you guys been doing to help with your fertility or your TTC journey. I want to definitely know. And I'll definitely try to put stuff down below in the description box of what I've been taking, which is the maca, the pomegranate juice that you can get anywhere, Publix, Walmart, any grocery produce uh, store, you can get it. So um, I definitely just want to hop on here and let you guys know what's been going on with me. Definitely go ahead and subscribe for that button because I have more videos that I'm going to upload. I'm going to let you know, guys know updates if I do become pregnant and stuff like that. I definitely want to let you know or just any advice that I can give after tuber reversal, okay? So, um, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Deuce. Larry Gaga. Baby, say you're my son, I'm my son. My son, yeah. My son, yeah.